Good evening, my YouTube friends and family, my brothers and sisters. Where have you been? We have been uh, trying to uh, catch up and uh, finish out the remainder of the summer, man. It's almost gone. But we got a short clip here for you. And it's, uh, what, what do you get with 10 pounds of potatoes? We bought uh, a 5 pound of red and a 5 pound of white potatoes. And we put uh, some of those in the ground. And we put a couple in our uh, containers. The containers didn't do well at all. But we're going to show you what, uh, what we got with uh, about 14, 14 to 17 uh, potatoes that we did put in the ground. And uh, it was pretty good. Uh, the uh, five pound bag of potatoes said with five pounds a good yield would be between uh, 50 and 75 pounds. So we got about uh, 40 pounds out of uh, the ones that we did put in the ground and I will take that. That is uh, truly a blessing. Who, whoever thought you could put 17 potatoes in the ground and get 40 pounds out of it. So here we go. I'll see you at the end. All right, so here we are. It is a uh, overcast, cloudy day in uh, Western Maryland. Here, the sun keeps popping in and out, but uh, we are going to dig up the rest of our potatoes. And uh, what's happening is uh, we've been getting a lot of rain here at the end of the year, end of the uh, middle of end of summer, and. Uh, last year we let the potatoes in we thought they'll keep in the ground We let them in the ground and then it rained a bunch at the end of the season and they started rotten. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, dig up what we got here in the ground and then we're also going to empty out the uh, remaining containers we got and uh, Might even go up here and look what we got in the potato towers, but uh, so far our in the ground planting potatoes have uh, done a lot better than those containers so uh, what we got here today we got a couple superstars we got at least one superstar out of each hole and uh, when I say superstar I'm talking about a, a potato you could uh, make some french fries out of uh, I love a big old potato that we can cut up in uh, fries and uh, put away for the winter and what we do uh, these potatoes what we've learned in the past they will not keep in the our basement uh, it is too warm down in the basement and uh, they just won't keep for us so what we did last year uh, with the potatoes was uh, we cut a lot of them up into fries uh, waffle fries and steak fries we blanched them froze them on a tray individually and then uh, put them in the freezer and we used them uh, last winter so we had two uh, red potatoes left from uh, when we got the stewed uh, potatoes but uh, we're gonna measure these or weigh these up and uh, see what we got poundage wise but uh, <clears throat> These potatoes here that you're seeing uh, all come from 14 potatoes. We put uh, 14 potatoes in the ground there and uh, that's what we got back. So we'll weigh them up. We're going to get into these uh, last couple planters that we got and uh, see how it goes in these. So we'll, uh, we'll see in a little. All right, we are going to uh, weigh up these potatoes. Let's see here. If we can zero this thing out. Zero. Bucket weighs 1.8 pounds. Zero, zero.
there you go. Uh, that came from five pounds of white potatoes and five pounds of red potatoes. And we did use some red potatoes in the stew. Uh, well, there you go. We got a five gallon bucket uh, full of potatoes for the stew. Some big ones, little ones. We're going to go back and weigh them and uh, then we're going to find a place to throw them out. We're going to pick the big ones out and uh, prep for well, stew. Well, there you go. That is what we got out of the potatoes that we planted in the ground. And I still have one more potato tower that I haven't uh, opened up yet. Uh, the potato tower, I'm going to put all that in one video and I'll show you what we got out of it. And at this point, I'll go ahead and blow it. We really didn't get anything out of the potato towers. And a big shout out to all of our subscribers. We are almost breaking like 400. We're, we're, we're right there at the 400 mark. It's all greatly appreciated. Uh, and if you get anything out of the videos, please share, like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, here we are at uh, Zone 6B. It is the end of summer for us. I still have a, uh, a batch of corn down there to harvest. We got a couple uh, pumpkins, one big one, uh, two little pumpkins down there. But the uh, garden uh, for the summer is coming to an end. We started some brassicas for the fall and we will pop them in the tunnel here uh, shortly and uh, we'll share that with you. I'm going to try to get some more uh, Brussels sprouts, some broccoli, some cauliflower and I think we might have had some cabbages that uh, made it out of uh, the seed pod and into the seedling. But other than that, that's all we got for you this time. Till we meet again, always remember to smile because God loves you.